Merry Christmas, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. And spreading Christmas cheer is the game today. Now, I hope you got everything you wanted, but if you didn't, remember, Christmas is more about family and friends than it is about gifts. And that will certainly become more important as you get a little bit older. But, I'm forgetting some of you might be quite old watching this. You guys will already know what I'm talking about. But I thought what we'd do today for a little bit of fun is we would have a sheep game quiz. So this is something, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's something that everyone can be involved in. And it's basically going to be 30 sheep breeds, and then we're going to have five bonus questions at the end. So there's going to be 35 questions, 10 seconds per question. So it's not going to take long to complete this. And then we'll go through the answers at the end, and we'll see who can be the sheep quiz champion in your household. Let's get started. I'm just going to be a little guy down in the corner here of the screen. Your sheep breeds are going to be up here. Question number one. Well, it's not really a question. It's breed number one. What breed of sheep is this? Ten seconds. This breed association promotes the breed as being the most numerous in the UK, accounting for roughly 35% of the sheep in the country. Breed number two. One of the most popular crossing sires in the United Kingdom. The first ten are easy. No excuses here. Number three. It's renowned for its double muscle hindquarters. And is a, is a popular one. We've seen this one on Landward if you've been watching. Number four. The breed of the most expensive ram ever sold in the UK. And number five is the... Oh, I nearly said the name of it there. It's named after the county that it originated from in the east of England. Number six. I still don't know how you pronounce this one, but it's become a smallholder's favourite in the last few years due to its kind nature and easy lambing. Number seven. Ooh, the Marmite breed from the home of the Toblerone. I've said too much. Number eight, famous for its rabbit-like ears, it has seen a resurgence in recent years as a popular crossing sire. Number nine, this breed are most famous for their four-horned variety and always worth a look at the shows. Number ten, a very popular terminal sire due to its meaty carcass and ease of lambing. Oh, I did have to get the vet in to get two out this year. Next up, number 11, we're getting a little bit harder now. If you've seen the Yorkshire Shepherdess, you've seen this breed. Number 12, bred to survive on the UK's most exposed inhabited island. That one's kind of my opinion, it's more than fact. And number 13, a popular breed for shearing records all over the world. And very popular here in the UK now as well. Number 14, don't worry about the spelling of this one. Even I had to Google the spelling. But I did know the sheep. I do know the breed. Number 15. Now for this one we need the full name. I will not accept a half effort here. I need the exact type of and breed of this sheep. You know, what's the, what's the name of this sheep? The breed. The breed. Number 16. I'm running behind already. Come on. You know this one. The next one's easy. If it makes you feel better. Number 17, one of the easiest sheep to shear, in my opinion, but still hard as nails. Number 18, a rising star in the sheep world. And difficult to shear. They love a little kick and a wriggle. Next up, not this is the real rising star, even bigger than the last. This is it, this is the breed for the folk that can't afford the white ones, I always say. <laughs> Next up, who's been watching Landward? You should know this one. Hard as nails, this little sheep as well. And I don't know what to say about number 21. I almost didn't put it in because it's such a popular breed, but it's quite a difficult breed to distinguish. Almost featureless, you may say. Number 22. Now, I only know this because we visited them at the Three County Show and it was on the vlog. If you've been watching really close, you'll know that one. Number 23, this is the other part of the one we did earlier, I need the exact name of this breed. 
And number 24, I wish I'd got into these when they were only £500 per female, because they are rocketing in price. 25, I don't really want to shear any of these. They're hard work. Number 26, I don't really want to shear any of these either. These are probably even harder. They love a good kick and a wriggle too, but a very popular breed, and they're constantly in season, I think. Number 27, you'll see I'm a grey using these for sheepdog training, which is the same reason why we now have 10, although they don't do much training. And I forgot to record a bit talking about this breed. Now, it is a difficult one because it looks similar to another breed we've already had, but it is quite distinctive, and I think a lot of you will get it. Number 29, these may get called baby doll sheep in the US, I think. Number 30, another tough wee hill sheep, and that's us. That was fast, eh? It's like a five minute quiz. I'm not sure if you'd be able even to keep up with that, writing your answers down. It makes it tricky. If you want, you can do it at like 0.75 speed for the kids to keep up. I maybe, I maybe did that a little bit quick. But here's your five, uh, I don't know if we call them tiebreaker questions, but there are five additional fun questions that aren't breed related. Well, they may be, but it's not about pictures of breeds. They're just questions. Here we go. What is the average length of a sheep's mating cycle? Give you 10 seconds to have a think about that. The average length of a sheep's mating cycle. What breed of sheep is the mother of a north of England mule? That's question number 32. What breed of sheep is the mother of a north of England mule? 33. Merino sheep, best known for their incredible wool, originated from which country? I might catch a few of you out, because merino sheep aren't a thing here in the UK, so this might be one for the, the overseas farmers might get this one better. Number 34. If all of your sheep were expecting twins, what would your scanning percentage be? That's one of those really tricky maths questions. So if all of your sheep are expecting twins, what would your scanning percentage be? And the final question, number 35. How many adult teeth would you expect to find in an 18 month old sheep? That could be a really tricky one. Okay, sheep fans, that's us, 35 questions. I might have went a bit fast there. Did I go a bit fast there, Lizzie? Lizzie says I was far too fast there. That's really gonna put the pressure on. Okay, let's go back through the answers now if you've all had time to, to write them down. That was fast paced, that, we'll call it more of a bullet quiz, I think. But going through the answers, we'll bullet through them as well. So number one, I'll accept blackface. Whether you've put Scottish blackface or Hexham or whatever you've wrote there, I'll accept any type of blackface for this because tricky question that one. Blackface is accepted for that one. Number two, Blueface Lester. Number three, the Bell Tex. Number four, the Texel. These are all easy, you'll have these. Number five, the Suffolk. Six, the Swartable. Swarble? Swartable? Swarble. If, if you wrote something that looks like Swarble, we'll give you it. Number seven, seven, seven is the Swiss Valley Blacknose. Number eight, is the Border Leicester. Number nine is the Jacob. Most popular with the four horns, but you get a two horn variety also. And number 10 is the Charlie. 11, we have Swaledale, of course, very popular sheep in the north of England and made very famous by the Yorkshire Shepherdess, of course. Number 12 is the Shetland. 13, we have a Romney popular for the Sheeran World Records. 14 is the Blue Domain. If, you, if whatever's written there looks something like Blue Domain, you got the point. Number 15 is the North Country Cheviot. North Country Cheviot. We have to have that. There's quite a distinctive difference between the two. So we have to have the North Country Cheviot to get the full points there. Or to get any points there. 16 is the Rouge. I'd accept British Rouge or the full kind of French name if you wrote that is absolutely fine. Rouge. 
17 is the Herdwick. 18 is the Kerry Hill, Stone Mad. 19 is the Blue Texel. That was a wee joke about the folk that can't afford the white ones. Kind of true, but it was a wee joke too. It was a wee, a wee laugh. Have a laugh. Hey, who can afford the white ones? Number 20 is the Soy, which of course are from the Isle of Soy, which is part of St Kilda. Number 21 is the Clin, very popular through Cowley Hill Farm with Will, but they're just quite a, a difficult breed to distinguish, so I could imagine a few of you would get that wrong. 22, tough, really tough. The Manx Loctan, how do you pronounce it, Lizzie? Yeah, Manx Loctan, Lotan. 23 is the South Country Cheviot, very different than the North Country Cheviot. 24 is a Dutch Spotted. 25 is the Hampshire. 26 is a Dorset. 27, the Hebridean, great little training do sheep for, for sheep dogs. 28 is the Rough Fell. That was a tough one as well, but it is a fairly well-known breed. I think most of you would be able to pick that out. 29 is the Ryland. 30 is the Welsh Mountain. I put that one last. I thought it was still quite a tricky one, that wee Welsh Mountain. A lot of folk wouldn't know that one. Anyway, that's the 30 sheep breeds. We then have our five additional questions, which some of them are a little bit tricky as well. Now, the average length of a sheep's mating cycle, average length, is 17 days. It can vary a couple of days either way, but we're going 17 days as the average. What breed of sheep is the mother of a North of England mule? Question 32, that would be a Swaledale. Number 33, Merino sheep, best known for their incredible wool, originated from which country? Spain. A lot of folk didn't know that. They're very big in South America as well, actually. A lot of Spanish-speaking countries, of course. 34, if all your sheep were expecting twins, what would your scan percentage be? That's like a math question. 200%. I think a lot of you would get that one. Might catch some out though. How many adult teeth would you expect an 18-month-old sheep to have? This is a tricky one. And the answer would be two. You'd expect an 18-month-old sheep to have two big teeth up in the middle. And of course, sheep get two teeth per year up to about four years old, and then they'll have eight, eight teeth across the bottom, and it's quite a good way to age a sheep, um, albeit once they get past that four years, it's not they start losing them again is usually what happens, but yeah, that's what you'd expect, two teeth up and an 18-month-old sheep. So that's the sheep game quiz, really quick, fast, probably too fast, Lizzie says, I might need to slow it down in the edit if it's going too quick. Hope you enjoyed that one, I hope you've all had a great Christmas. We've got an exciting video coming out very soon, hopefully, of my trip to the Shant Isles. It should have been out by now, but we'll get it out hopefully this week. Have a good one, sheep fans. We'll see you for the next one.